Clearly, the United States has witnessed a rollback on civil and human rights in this country. And it's been very difficult to continue to point that out uh, and have people hear that message because they do feel that they are victims uh, of the 9-11 scenario. But that does not justify, as you are correct in saying, it does not justify, for example, profiling mosques and uh, putting people in administrative detention where they either can't be reached or don't have any access to attorneys and targeting and stopping some groups coming into the United States or leaving the United States. So clearly, uh, the focus on civil and human rights in this country has been heightened, sharpened, and I'm sad to say it has been more restrictive and more violative since 9-11. And, and even more sad is that most people either don't know it or are willing to see this done to these groups because it's not being done to them. And this is not acceptable. I think clearly the United States uh, is a major human rights violator, as I said. I think the biggest problem in this country is that we are in denial. Uh, we like to point that finger around the world at the usual suspects, North Korea, Cuba, Iraq, Iran, China. But uh, we, we tend to treat human rights as somebody else's problem and not ours. So one, I think the problem is that we are conditioned in the media and by most of our politicians to understand that we don't commit human rights violations when we do. And the other major problem, uh, I see this clearly as an academician, is the abhorrent lack of human rights education and human rights education awareness in this country. I have juniors and seniors in my classes every semester and the overwhelming question I hear every semester is why am I just now being exposed to this? And it's clear that we have done to date a very poor job at bringing the concept of human rights to our students on a national level so they have a greater understanding that this country is the aberration in the world. The majority of the world is not white, it's not rich, and it's not free. Uh, and we have to do a better job at understanding the realities in the world and being more sensitive to other people's problems as well as our own. So we've got a lot of work to do in this country, for this country, for it to get better.